this is the hadith that we had yesterday. Um, we finished it, I think, but I don't know if there was, we were saying something and the time ran off before anybody read, and I'm not sure if there was any other questions. We were talking about the word khurfa <clears throat> being an orchard, and I looked it up, and orchard means uh, trees or plants with fruit. So that might be the difference, right? Yeah, in a garden. <coughs> So if there's any other questions that we can answer it or we can just read it and move on. I'm going to skip the first one. I got to park and check in real quick. Okay. You want to read it, Abdullah? No. Salam Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Man, I got it. Huh? Let me follow. Man ada maridan lam yazal fi khufatil jannati hatta ya jia jia hatta ya jia yatta hatta ya jia and Abu Tahir Qala Nabiyu sallallahu alayhi wa sallam من عادة مريضة لم يزل في قرفة الجنة حتى يرجع نعم we have <coughs> the next hadith the next section is النظافة النظافة Noon va fa and Navaf is cleanliness. Nav right? Cleanliness. Cleanliness. So this next section has to do all with cleanliness. Adab Ada il Haja. Adab, which we know is etiquettes of Qada, Qada, from Qaf, Bad, Ya, meaning to um, Qada means to like. I think it's a good word. Here it means to uh, carry out, right? To take care of your need, uh, to spend, right? Like not to spend money wise, but like how do you spend your day? I'm trying to think of a good word for it. I can't. I don't know in English a good word. Uh, single word uh, you know pass like how you pass your time right how do you carry out how do you fulfill right different words fulfill your duty to perform right it has lots of different you can see how they, they could be related um, to answer, that might be a good one here. Al Haja, Al Haja from Hawaja, meaning a need, right? A need, Al Haja, like we said, Khutbat Al Haja. So we have Adab, Qada Al Haja. We don't say in Arabic, we don't say like, I'm gonna go use the bathroom. You can say that, and I have ill al hamam, and a roh ill al hamam, whatever. But more politely, you would say, like for instance, ahtajan akdi al haja. I need to 
fulfill a need or answer a call, right? Fulfill a need, answer a call, similar to that. So fulfill a need or answer, fulfill a need or answer a call out. You know, it's a polite way of saying it. So adab qada al hajj is really the etiquette of using the restroom, right? Or of just answering the call of nature, as they say. And Abi Hurairata, radiallahu anhu, and an Nabiyas, and an Nabiyas, sallallahu alaihi wasallam, aqal, itakul la'anain. Qalu wa ma la'anain, ya Rasulullah. Qala, alladhi yatakhalla fi tariq al-nas. أو في ذلهم أن أبي هريرة رضي الله عنه أن النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم قال اتقوا اللعانين اتقوا he said comes from وقايا meaning وقايا وقايا meaning to protect right to protect his تقوى doesn't just it doesn't really mean fear right it means to put something in between you and the punishment of Allah put something between you and the fire to put a barrier a barrier between you and the fire between you and the punishment of Allah. Allah put a punishment to put a barrier between you and that. Here, put a barrier between you and Allah Anain. Allah An is something which is cursed from La'ana. Something which is a cause for your curse. La'ana is to curse. And la'an is a uh, something which causes you to be cursed. Right? So, Or cursed thing, a cursed thing, whatever. La'anain meaning two of them. And for those studying Ezra or wanting to know, normally we say, for instance, if we had Allah there, we would say, Itakullaha. Because it's the object of our fear or however you want to translate it. Here, if we had one, we would say, Itakul La'ana. But here we say, La'anain. Because the it's dual. When it's in the marfu form, like we have Kalimatan. It's marfu. Kalimaton Kalimaton is more full with Dhamma as we see. Kalimatan is more full with an Aleph. There is no Dhamma. It's just Kalimatani. So this Aleph is replacing this Dhamma here. Because it's in the dual. Right? This Aleph is known as the Aleph of its name. It's replacing the Dhamma. Whereas when we say, for instance, Kalamtu Kalimatan. Now it's Mansu because it's the object of my speaking. So, but if I said I spoke two words, somebody's got a bad echo. 
كلمت كلمة تين Because my fatah here being mensub, the maf'ulun bihi is replaced with a ya. Here the dhamma is replaced with an alif. Here the fatah is replaced with the ya. The same thing would happen with if there was kalimat The kasras would be replaced with the ya. Here we have as we see further on, when there's nothing affecting it, la'anan. La'anan, with an alif. Because there's nothing to make it mensub or majroo or anything like that, so it's in its natural position of marfu. But here, when it's the object, we have la'anan. So we know that they're the same word, but this one is mensub with a ya. This first one, and the second one is marfu with an alif. Just a grammar point to hopefully make sense of everything, if not now, in the future. Right now you're mad at me, maybe, but in the future you'll be happy that we went through it every once in a while. So, itaqallaanayn, fear the two cursed things. Here he says at the bottom he says Al-Amrain Al-Jaliyain Lil-La'an Al-Jalibain Not Jalilain Jalibain Lil-La'an Two things which bring about the curse that's what he's telling you to fear. Two things which bring about the curse. Qalu wa ma la'anan ya Rasulullah. And what are the two things which bring about the curse, O Messenger of Allah? Qala alladhi yatakhalla fi tariq al-nas o fi dhillihim. He said, Alladhi yatakhalla, yatakhalla, here, he says at the bottom in the footnote, yatagawwat, yatagawwat, meaning he uses the bathroom, he does number two, he defecates. From the word khala, that we had before, the adab of the khala, the etiquettes of the bathroom. The khala is not necessarily the bathroom. It's a place that they used to go too far away from the sight of the people. And they used to re relieve themselves. <coughs> so here's the verb of that place, the khala, which we translated as bathroom or place to use the bathroom. Here's the verb of that, yatakhala fi tariq nas he relieves himself in the pathways of the people. O fi dhillihim. Or in their shaded places, meaning the places where they take a, a, a rest in from the sun. Meaning the place where they would sit. So tariq and nas, the places where they would walk. Tariq, the pathways of the people. O him, or the places where they would take and rest and sit. So, for instance, if you went inside where a tree was or something, where people are not sitting, then it's not a problem. But if that's like a homeless row where people are sitting and sleeping, then that's a different thing. But if you went to and just urinated by the benches or up against the wall where you know people sit or stuff like that, then this is the problem. He uses the bathroom. Here he says, like I said, it says down here, number two. But I think it could be either one. He uses the bathroom in the paths of the people. Or in their shaded places. The places where they look to take refuge from the heat of the sun. This hadith is in Muslim, number 618.
from our brother. We always read about him, Abu Huraira, right? <clears throat> Any questions about this hadith? Uh, is the one who, when I, I know Arabic word, he said uses the bathroom or the one yeah, who uses himself. Right. Khala, the khala is the place where they would use the bathroom. The khala is the place where they would use the bathroom. Right? It's not necessarily a bathroom, it's just an open area. So, here they're using this, khala is a verb. They're making it into a verb. Yatakhala, he uses the bathroom. He takes, the, he takes his place of relieving himself in the pathways of the people. Abu Tahir, anything? No. Go ahead and read then, inshallah. And Abi Hurairah, radiallahu an, and the Nabiya, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, qalu, aqala, ataqul la'anayn, qala, wa ma la'anan, la'anan, ya Rasulullah, qala ladhi yatakhalla fi tariq al-nas, Allah <laughs> التي يتخلى في طريق الناس أو في ذلهم نعم قال النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم لا يمسكن أحدكم ذكره بيمينه وهو يبول ولا يتمسح من الخلاء بيمينه قال النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم لا يمسكن أحدكم ذكره بيمينه وهو يبول لا is a law of negation or prohibition يمسكن from مسكا Assalamu alaikum muharram. Wa alaikum as wa rahmatullah. Masaka. And the noon on the end is called noon at tawkeed. Noon at tawkeed meaning the noon of emphasis. So there's emphasis here. La yumsikanna ahadukum. Masaka means to grab or to hold. Right? لا يمسكن أحدكم ذكره ذكر is the penis is penis لا يمسكن ذكر مفول به منسوب لا يمسكن أحدكم ذكره that not one of you hold his Penis bi yaminihi with his right hand. Wahua yabul from bala yabulu bala yabulu while he's urinating. That one of him not hold his private parts, his penis, with his right hand, and he is urinating. Wala من الخلاء بيمينه ولا يتمسح and مسح is to wipe 
right? To wipe. وَلَا يَتَمَسَّحْ مِنَ الْخَلَاءِ بِيَمِينِهِ And do not let him wipe from using the bathroom مِنَ الْخَلَاءِ بِيَمِينِهِ with his right hand. Right? لَا يُمْسِكَنَ أَحَدُكُمْ ذَكَرَهُ بِيَمِينِهِ وَهُوْ يَبُوْهُ Don't let one of you or don't one of you hold his penis in his right hand and he's urinating. وَلَا يَتَمَسَّحْ مِنَ الْخَلَاءِ بِيَمِينِهِ And don't wipe from using the bathroom <clears throat> with his right hand. Don't let him wipe with his right hand. This hadith is in Bukhari and Muslim. Bukhari 154. Muslim 13. From Abu Qatada. Any questions? Wahua Yabul, and he is urinating. Okay, that's what I thought when you said why he was urinating. Right, that's. Okay. If you do something and you're doing it, then it's why you're doing it. No. Well, it was not there, but I understand what you're saying. Okay. Okay, one second here. I have. Yes, seen. Trying to get into class. I gotta go find the link. Any other questions? Hmm. Man, I need a link. Anybody got a link close by? <laughs> yeah. Where's he at? Is he in a... Can I hit him on a, uh, I could probably hit him on one of our, um, I got it. Huh? He's, uh, he's in WhatsApp. Yeah, I can hit him. I'm thinking pretty good. Yeah, he's in WhatsApp. No other questions? I'm sorry. Okay, read for us, Ya Muharram. في طريق الناس أو في ظلهم قال النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم لا يمسكن أحدكم ذكره بيمينه وهو يبور ولا يتمسح من من الخلاء بيمينه عفوا I read the first one too I, I oh I said off when I didn't realize I was reading the the first one too. Now you say something, Maki, at the end. I'm sorry, I heard something. No problem. Abdullah. Yaqalan Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam la yumsikinna ahadukum zakarahu biyaminihi wa huwa yabul wa la yatamassah min khalani biyaminihi قال نبي صلى الله عليه وسلم لا يمس يا لا يمسكن أحدكم ذكره بيمينه وهو يبول ولا يتمسح من الخلاء بيمينه. نعم.
مر النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم على قبرين فقال أما إنهما لا يعذبان وما يعذبان في كبير أما أحدهما فكان يمشي بنميمة وأما وأما الآخر فكان لا يستطر من بوله مر النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم مر means to pass الحمد لله يرحمك الله يحبكم الله ويسر بالكم مر النبي the prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم passed على قبرين he passed by two graves قبر قبرين we have قبران we have قبرون which is مرفوع الدم we have قبران uh, uh, Nam Kabran, which is no, one dot. Kabran, which is marfu with an aleph because it's dual. And then we have Kabrain, which is mensub with a ya. Or it's, here it's majroor with a ya after ala, harf jar. It's majroor with a ya. Not majroor with a kasra, but majroor with a ya. مر النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم على قبرين. He passed by two graves. And this is a good example of a harf jar not having a meaning until it's in the sentence. Because Allah for us means above. But the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم didn't pass above two graves. He passed by two graves. Right? He didn't pass on top of two graves because we don't walk on graves, right? Fakala. So he said, Ama innahuma la yu'adhabani wa ma yu'adhabani fi kabir. Ama. Okay, we all know that this hadith is a long hadith. And the Prophet ﷺ took a stick and he <laughs> broke it in half and stuck one half in one grave and one part in the other grave. And he was asked why he did that. Otherwise, normally, we wouldn't start out with a statement, Amma. Amma, which means as for. Amma, which means as for. We wouldn't normally start out with a sentence like that. Like if we were to initiate speech. It's it's like a result of something. Like you ask me, why did you do that? Amma, like that. Amma, innahuma, innahuma, verily them two, la you azdibani, la is a lamb of emphasis. La yu'adzabani. They are being punished. La yu'adzabani. They are being punished. They are being tortured. <coughs> uh, from adab. Right? We know the word adabun alimun, adabun alimun. Right? La yu'adzabani. They are being punished. وَمَا يُعَذَّبَانِ فِي كَبِيرٍ And they are being punished. وَمَا يُعَذَّبَانِ And they're not being punished. فِي كَبِيرٍ فِي كَبِيرٍ They're not being punished for a big thing. It says in the footnote. It says, basically, it says, Get some good light here because it's still right after Fudge. It's kind of dark. Laysat izalatuhu wa taharruzu minhu bi amrin kabir. Bal sahlun yasir. Basically, he's not being punished for something that seems to be big. It's not something which is big, meaning it's difficult. Rather, it's an easy matter. He could have taken care of it in an easy way. 
meaning they're not being punished for something that was difficult. As for the ithum, as for the sin of it, then it's a kabira. The sin that they're doing or that they did is a kabira. It's a big major sin. And in another hadith, in another version of this hadith, it says that it is a major sin. It says what in the but in the Kabira, oh, oh, misses that, misses that. It says that it that it is a big sin. It says that it is a big sin. They're not being punished for something which is big. Not the sin, but the act of it is not big. I mean, it's not difficult. Amma ahaduhuma. As for one of them, ahaduhuma. As for one of the two, fakana yamshi bin namima. Then he used to walk. Fakana yamshi, yamshi, masha yamshi. He used to walk. Bin namima. Namima from nam like this. Namima comes and it means tail carrying. He hears something about someone and he takes it to work to others. He heard that I talked about Abdullah, so he took it to Abdullah and said, Abu Muawiyah was talking about you. He said this and that, right? And he tries to separate us, right? This is Namima, someone who tries to split the people apart by carrying tails. Not that he necessarily does the riba. He doesn't necessarily do the backbiting. He doesn't initiate it, but he carries it to others. <coughs> as, and as for the other, <coughs> Fakana, then he la yastatiru from satara. <coughs> then he would not yastatiru he would not cover him cover from satara means to cover like satral aura to cover your aura min bolihi he used to not cover min bolihi from his urine bowl is urine bala yabulu bowl bowl is urine so he used to not cover himself from urine. Mm -hmm. So he used to allow urine to get on himself. Mm -hmm. So these things are not they're not they're not hard to do to prevent the urine from getting on yourself, right? One of the ways you would not prevent the urine from getting on yourself is to uh not wash yourself, not to use tissue or water when you're done or stone, whatever you have, right, to clean yourself after you finish. So when you finish, the head of your penis, and you just get up and go. You just get up and go, and then drops fall in your pants. As for if you cleaned yourself, and you have wiped yourself, and you have put tissue on yourself, and then after that something comes, then that's not a problem. You've done what you were, were, were supposed to do. If there's a little effect after you use a stinja from urinating or defecating, after you made a stinja, after you tried your best to get yourself clean, you've done it three or more times, you've used water, you've used tissue, whatever, and then there's still some effect, that doesn't affect anything because that's just a, a matter of, you know, it happens. But if you don't take care of it and you just ignore it and let it go like the kufar do, you know, we used to think we were clean as a fool with leather pants on, silk shirts and all that stuff, man, and we were dirty as can be. SubhanAllah. So, أَمَّا إِنَّهُمَا لَا يُعَذَّبَانِ وَمَا يُعَذَّبَانِ فِي كَبِيرٍ then verily, as for them, then they are being punished, and they're not being are they're not being punished for something that is major. It's a major sin, but it's not something major that they, you know, that they didn't do. For instance, I told you to move the mountain in a day. And I came back the next day, and the mountain's not moved. Okay, well, that's a big thing. 
This thing here that we're talking about is not a big thing. As for one of them, that he used to walk with slander, tail carrying. As for the other, then he used to not cover from his urine. This hadith is in Bukhari and Muslim, although I didn't find it in Bukhari and Muslim. Uh, 218 in Bukhari from Ibn Abbas. Any questions? We got the bear with us. We got Yasin with us. And read for us, Yasin. Let us hear you, man. <laughs> فقال أما إنهما ليعذبان وما يعذبان بكبير أما أحدهما فكان يمشي بالنميمات وأما الآخر فكان لا يستطير من بوله نعم يا الزبير مر النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم على قبرين قبرين فقال أما إنهما لا يعذبان وما يعذبان في كبير أما أحدهما فكان يمشي بالنميمة وأما الآخر فكان لا يس لا يستتر من بوله. Oh, yeah, Abdullah. <laughs> وَأَمَّا الْآخِرُ فَكَنَّا لَا يَسْتَتِرُ مِنْ بَوْلِهِ نعم يا ذا أبو الطاهر مار النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم على قبرين فقال أما إنهما يعذبان وما يعذبان في قبير أما أحدهما فكان يمشي بالنميمة وأما الآخر فكان لا يستطير من بوله نعم محرم نعم خصال الفطرة خصال الفطرة خصال from خصلة and the singular is خصلة Khasla is the singular, khisal is the plural. Khasla means characteristic. Like you could say characteristics of the believers. Khisal al mu'minin. Right? Khisal al fitra. The fitra, as we know, is a natural disposition or <clears throat> however you want to translate it's probably best just to leave it at fitra the characteristics of fitra 
قال النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم خمسون من الفطرة خمسون من الفطرة five are from the فطرة five are from the فطرة when you look this hadith up it's going to say al fitratu khamsun because the narrator said al fitratu khamsun o khamsun min al fitra so it's hard to sometimes find these hadith if you're looking them up because the narrator said al fitratu khamsun o and then he said o al khamsun min al fitra he gave it two different words because he maybe had some doubt about the Prophet Sallallahu how he said it. So when he brought the Hadith here, he just brought the one wording because he's not, like we said, this is not a Hadith book. It just has Hadith in it. So, Khamsun min al-Fitra. This, there's five from Fitra. Al-Khitan. Al-Khitan. Khatana. Here, al khitan is circumcision. Khitan is circumcision. We just have to know that that's what that word means. Circumcision. al khitan is circumcision. Well, istihdad. Istihdad comes from had. Had. And then we have uh, Hadid, it means sharp. So here, here, Istihdad means, as it says in the footnote, Halku sha'ar al-ana. Halk is to shave. Sha'ar is hair. Al-ana is the pubic area. Al-ana is the pubic area. So istihdad means to take something sharp and shave the pubic area it's just a it's an islamic terminology if you didn't have islamic terminology and you were talking about something else you might use the word istihdad for something else but in islamic terminology istihdad would mean here it means to shave the pubic area what taqleem al azfar Taqleem from Qalama, right? Qalama with the Shadda because of the, we know from the Mustar we have there, Taqleem. And to clip Al Adfar. Adfar is the plural of Dhafar, which is your nails. Taqleem Al Adfar, to clip the nails. When natful ib nat is to pull, natafa to pull, to pluck. El ibit is the underarm hair. And these are words you just have to learn. El ibit is the underarm hair. Natful ibit to pluck the underarm hair. وَقَصُّ شَارِبْ وَقَصْ and to trim to shorten قَصْ similar to قَصَر but it's قَصْ to trim to shorten a شَارِبْ the mustache وَقَصُّ شَارِبْ to trim the mustache So, قال النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم خمسون من الفطرة Five things from the fitra الختان Circumcision والاستهداد To shave the private part uh, Pubic hairs 
وتقليم الألفار تقليم الألفار to trim the nails ونطف الإبت وقت the underarm hairs وقص الشارب and to shorten the mustache this hadith البخاري المسلم 5891 Both of them from Abu Huraira Any questions about this hadith? Qassa <laughs> With a time or booth at the end. But, uh, let me see. Nam. Nam. Oh, that's the... Let me see why. Let me see why here. In the meantime, while we look that up, read for us. Yeah. Uh, قال النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم خمس من الفطرة الخطان والاستحداد وتقليم الأظفار ونطف ونطف الإبط وقص الشارب نعم آه Who's next? Uh, Abdullah. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Kam sun min al-fitra. Al-khitan. Well, it's fifth that. Wa taqlim, wa taqli, wa taqli mul afwa. Wa natful ibit. Wa qasu ibit. Ibit. قال النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم خمس من الفطرة الختان والاستحداد وتقليم الشارب ونتف الإبط وقص الشارب قص الشارب محرم نعم يلا يا أبا طاهر قال النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم خمس في الفطرة القتال والاستحداد والتقليم الأظفار أظفار ونطف الإبت وقص الشارب نعم يلا يا ياسين قال النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم خمس من الفطرة الختان والاستحداد تقنين الأبصار ونطف الإبل وقص الشارع شارع نعم قال أنس أنس رضي الله عنه قال أنس رضي الله عنه وقت لنا في قص الشارب وتقليم الأذفار والنطف الإبد وحلق وحلق العانة ألا نترك أكثر من أربعين ليلة قال أنس أنس رضي الله عنه وقت لنا from وقت وقت time وقت or وقت is time 
Wuktita, meaning he gave us a time limit. He he made a time limit. Wuktita Lena. Right? Uh, what's the ayat in Bakra? Um, yeah, Kitab al Mokuta, in prescribed times, right? Wakata, Wukita, this is Wakata, but Wukita here is uh, passive, Majhul, Wukita. It was prescribed for us, or a time limit was given to us, Lena. A time limit was prescribed or given, Lena, for us. Fi hasusharin, in trimming the mustache. Wa taqlimul adfar, and trimming the nails. Wa natful ibit, and pulling the, plucking the underarm hairs. Wahalqilana. And here this is in place of Halqilana is in place of Al Istihdad. Halqilana shaving the pubic hairs. Alanatruka Aksara min Arbaina Layla. That we do not leave from Taraka. 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 That we do not leave. Taraka to leave. Allah natruka that we don't leave. Aksara more than from kathara aksara more than. Kathir is a lot. Aksar is more. Aksara min more than. Arbaina forty Layla nights. That we don't do it. Or we don't leave it more than 40 nights. Now here he mentioned one. Qasr al-Sharif. Taqlim al-Adfar. Natf al-Ibit wa halq al-Ana. What about the fifth one? Can't get circumcised every 40 days. Right. Uqtita <laughs> lana. It was given us a time limit we were given a time limit fi sharib in cutting the trimming the mustache with taqlim al-alfar trimming the nails with not ibid pulling the underarm hairs with halq al-ana and shaving the pubic hairs ala natruka akthara min arba'ina layla that we don't leave it more than 40 nights this hadith is in Mus in muslim Number 599 from Anas ibn Malik. Any questions? Read for it. <coughs> yeah, Abu Tahir. We're going to work our way up to the top. قال أنس رضي الله عنه وكت لنا في خص الشارب وتقليم الأثفار ونطف الإبت وحلق الآن الآن ألا نترك نترك أكثر من أربعين ليلة نعم يلا يا زبير قال أنس رضي الله عنه وقت لنا في قص الشارب ونق وتقليم الأظفار وندف الإبط وحلق العانة ألا نترك أكثر من أربعين ليلة. نعم يا 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 سين. قال النبي قال قال أنس رضي الله عنه وقت وقت لنا في قص الشارب وتقليم الأظفار ونطف الإبط وحلق عانة ألا نترك أكثر من أربعين ليلة. نعم. يا أنا أدوس now. 
who read that? The three Abdullah. Kalla and the Sun. Riyallahu and Rukita Lanafi Kasi Kasi Sharid Wa Takli Mil Etwa Wa Natfi Wa Natfil Ibit Wa Hel Kil Anna Allah Natfika Etra Min of Abaina Layla. نعم يلا We'll see you guys tomorrow for Nahlawadi. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.